I could already tell that today was going to be a good one. The temperature was just the right amount of cool, perfect for working in. The morning was calm and the skies were clear. My newly purchased Massey 35 tractor sat at the ready. I was eager to put in a good day's work with it. I fired up the Massey and that's when I noticed the problem. You see, there's a small pinhole on the underside of the tractor, between the transmission and the engine housing. This pinhole, although inconspicuous, has an extremely important purpose. It's also known as the tattletale hole. If it's leaking, that means there's a bigger problem going on inside the tractor. Since it was leaking oil, as opposed to transmission fluid, I knew that the rear main seal had probably let go. In this clip, it's only dripping a little bit, but after I had turned the camera off, the oil began to stream out. Not good. To replace the main seal, the tractor will need to be split. I wish that was just a figure of speech, but it's not. The front half of the tractor will need to be unbolted from the rear end and then pulled apart, so that the seal can be accessed. This is a major repair. At the moment, my Massey is in the shop, waiting to be pulled apart. Needless to say, I didn't get to use the tractor. Remember how I said that today was going to be a good one? Scratch that. However, it's tree felling season for me, and so I can't afford to sit this one out. I just have to find a way to cope without the tractor. So I loaded up the wheelbarrow with my tools and pushed it as far as the forest's interior would allow me to go. Most of the trees we drop in this dense forest are unable to fall all the way to the ground on their own. Normally, we would use the tractor to bring them the rest of the way down. However, today we will have to settle for the electric winch.
Okay. I could bring in the, the frame to get it up and over that bump there. Unfortunately, the winch exhausted its battery while pulling only the second tree of the day. We figured this might happen, and so we came prepared with my homemade tree puller frame. We initially used the frame to help give the electric winch a bit more leverage. We hoped that we could use the last of the battery's power okay. to pull the base of the tree over a slight rise in the ground. Listen up a bit. <laughs> okay. battery was fully charged this morning. Was it? Yeah.
Now that the battery was dead, we had to rely completely on the frame for leverage and our muscles to supply the power. As you can see, I built this frame as a kind of lever, which effectively multiplies our pulling power. Essentially, we are increasing our pulling distance in exchange for increased pulling power. If the rope leading to the tree is slung over the upper cross piece, it multiplies our input power by approximately four times at the tree. If we use the lower cross piece, our pull is multiplied by eight times, but over a longer pulling distance. Sometimes, I'm not even sure why we cart the electric winch around with us. My homemade tree puller is easier to carry, faster to set up, and just about as fast to use. With our current battery, it seems the electric winch can only manage to pull down a few trees at a time, whereas we can drop trees all day long with the tree puller. Another advantage of the tree puller is that it lifts the load a little bit with every pull. This decreases drag and it also assists in lifting the tree over obstacles like this rock. I continued working on my own for a while, that is, until the weather began to deteriorate.
and that was my cue to seek shelter. Well, it wasn't the kind of day I was hoping for, but with the help of my dad, we managed to work well with the poor hand that we'd been dealt, and that was good enough for me. Later, I returned with my dad and brother to move some planks onto the cabin base. Although I won't be fastening the two and a quarter inch boards down just yet, I want it to have a temporary floor in place to prevent us from accidentally falling between the joists while working on the cabin. Having the loose boards up here is also an excellent place to have them season. Anyway, that's it for today. Until next time, my friends.